My name is Kerstin Jungström. I am 24 from Sweden uh, and I'm a songwriter and producer. I think Swedes are really good at simplicity in making music in both like lyrics and production and it's been like that for generations. How little can we have in the production but still make it sound like insanely cool. Whenever I'm outside of Sweden working, it always I feel like the most like boring person in the room because I'm always looking for clarity in song because we always try to be very clear, simple and like how do we get this straight ahead so like everyone understands it. I would say it's it's difficult and hard from time to time, unfortunately. I'm hoping that the next generation doesn't have to deal with the struggle of people thinking you can't do the work. It doesn't happen all the time, but like it feels like you always have to um, yeah, do the job to 120%, because like 100 is not good enough. So I think that's most of the, the, the biggest struggle. People assume that you're not good enough and then you have to like prove them wrong, which is also kind of fun to do. Here's the studio. It's not that big. I have ATC monitors, which are massive. You can't see them, but they're behind here. Because uh, I love it when music is loud. Uh, then I use universal audio interfaces, good preamp, good mic. It's also here in the future. And then a lot of, I love synthesizers. I found Dirac through a mutual friend uh, and was very interested in how that worked. Uh, I got to try it out and uh, did a test in here and it appeared that I had like a really dip at like 3k in the EQ spectrum. At first it was like a complete uh, mental breakdown when, when I had like the direct plugin in my logic arrangement because it was like so uh, flat and like strict and I was I've been in this room for so many years that I'm kind of used to the way it sounds so it was a, at first a very strange experience like changing how the room sounds with just a plugin I did some small tweaks with the plugin to uh, try to mimic some of the stuff stuff that happens in this room when you're playing music. Then I ended up using Dirac Live every single day. And I think it's magical. It's like I can see now in my mixes that I understand them way better. I think it's great. And I'm very excited for COVID to be over so I can bring it to like different studios. Cause like this studio is wonderful and very well built, but I'm, I'm really excited to use it in like uh, less well-built studio as well and being able to move around and still recognize the sound for my own studio. I think everyone should use it. I've been talking to about it with uh, all of my like producer friends and being like you have to try this because it's like also such an easy way to get around the problem with like like because not everyone is in a great acoustic acoustically built studio like I used to be in a basement underneath a like garage and it just sounded horrible. Like back then, if I uh, could use Dirac there, maybe that would have been like the perfect like solution to making that studio work. And I just think it's such a great plugin and I hope that everyone uses it. Thank you so much for watching this. Uh, I'm very happy to be a part of this and uh, being able to use Iraq live every single day. Uh, yeah, thank you for listening. Hope you learned something.